Hey everybody, what's going on? I wasn't sure if it had started recording yet. How are you doing? I am on day five in my city with no water. So apologies for the baseball cap again. And it's got like white fuzzy things hanging off of it. It's been through hell today. Today's been a long hellish day, but I have a Timu haul. What a shock. Let's say hello before this UFO falls off the wall. What I've learned is when this UFO starts to heat up, when the neon lights heat up. Hi, Clover. We got a little Clover here. Let's see if we can get a little tiny friend named Clove. Um, when it starts to heat up, it's going to fall off the wall. It's going to scare me. It might scare you. And I give up. I've stuck it on the wall now three times. And let's see how long it lasts now. Okay, nothing I'm wearing is from Timu today except for this hat with cherry blossoms on it. Yeah, I wore it to work because I couldn't take a shower again. I was too scared. I know yesterday I was talking big saying, I'm going to take a shower no matter what. But then I, the more I thought of it, the more I didn't feel like taking a shower in diesel fluid contaminated water. So, but I might tomorrow morning. I can't go. What will that be? Six days without washing my hair? Ooh, it's going to turn into dreadlocks. All right. I have no idea what order this is. And I do have to say something really quickly. Well, it's already a, it's a minute into this video. If you watched my video yesterday and you, sorry, I felt like there was something in between my teeth. If you watched my video yesterday and you entered the giveaway in the comments by putting, I want that bag in comments. If somebody that looks like me with my same profile pic and it might even say something, 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 hey, everybody, uh, answers you and says, congratulations, you won, send me your email or whatever. Don't, um, that's not me. Already when I woke up this morning, the comments had been flooded by a bot that was telling everybody congratulations. And I deleted as many of those comments as I could, but, oh, uh, I don't know. So don't, I'm not announcing the winner. I'm not even picking. I don't, I'm not picking it. I'm using the website um, YouTube comment picker to randomly pick one of those I want that bag comments and then I'll post it in my community feed and also talk about it on whatever the next video is that I do but I'm not even going to do that till Wednesday night so there's no congratulations you won if you get some kind of a reply to your comment like that that is not me replying to comments Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, let's see what the heck is in this thing. Um, I don't even know where to begin. Here is what looks like, oh, whoops, this didn't really come in time. Wait, do I have big sweat stains under my arms? Wait, do I stink? Well, if I do, you can't tell. Ugh, this is a dog made out of lettuce. I don't know. I thought it was really trippy looking. I'm I'm glad that they didn't um, smush it and suck all the air out of it and all this stuff. And what do you call it? Shrink wrap it or whatever they do with it. It made me laugh. Now, I was hoping this would get here in time for my nieces. But then my sister-in-law would not let them take all those cats. She only let them pick one meanie. So, I doubt this would have made it very far anyway, but now we have this. Okay, now I have to figure out what order that this is. What order am I looking at and how can I tell you the prices of these things in case you too want a dog made out of lettuce? Um, let's see. It's not that order. I'm stuck on, never mind, I'm not going to tell you what song I'm stuck on. Then you'll be stuck on it, too. I was about to sing it, too. I was about to burst into song. It might be this order. Yes, it is. Okay. This order, wow, has a lot in it. I bought a lot of stuff. Holy cow, I must have just gotten paid. 
That thing is $10.97 and it is sold out. So if you want a one-piece plush vegetable dog toy, it's sold out. I'm so sorry. I know your heart is breaking right now. All right, so there's that, right, Clover? Right, yeah, okay. Um, oh, my glasses are hanging out of my shirt. Yeah, I lost my, I cannot find my red glasses, you guys. So I'm going to have to wear these tortoise shell ones, which aren't as dynamic as my red ones. Um, let me get a drink of water. You know what? I've just got to be careful to stay hydrated. It's just not the same, though. It's not the same of drinking out of my moon as drinking out of my moonshine jug. Okay, what else is in this thing? A purse. That's shocking. Okay, we about to have a garage sale up in here. I'm not kidding. I've gone a little overboard. Wait a minute. Shh. I've gone a little overboard with purses in particular. This is um, Dolce & Gabbana, a Dolce & Gabbana dupe. And I even wrote down which dupe it was. It's in my buttery purse. Dolce & Gabbana. Okay, it's got feet. It's a circus bag. It's called, um, first, I want to see if it says Dolce. Oh, the real one says Dolce & Gabbana right here. I was like, oh my gosh, if it says that, I'm going to be like, score. Um, okay, let me grab the buttery bag and tell you what the name of this Dolce & Gabbana dupe is. And, oh no, wait a minute. Yes. No, yes, maybe. Yeah. 28. Oh, it's out of stock. Everything is sold out. Everything is sold out. All right. It was some kind of, it's, um, I paid $28.49 for this, but that's fine. Because when I saw it, I just started singing that Dolce and Gabbana, Fendi and whatever. Okay. Let me see if I can reach the buttery, buttery bag that I actually didn't use today. I kept using that pink, the tote bag bag. But I do have written down Dolce & Gabbana 90s Sicily bag is what it is a dupe of, or really a replica of, except it doesn't say Dolce & Gabbana inside the flap. And I can, I'm gonna hit notify me and if it comes back in stock, I'll post it on my community feed. But this item is sold out. It hasn't been discontinued. It's just sold out. And let's take a look at it. It's really interesting. Okay, so the, the description is artificial printed satchel crossbody red circus design. And as you can see, it's just got a lot of beautiful details on it, like a circus. The bottom is really cool. It's got feet. Wow. I'm excited about this. Let me hold it up and say, wow, thumbnail. Look at my purse. Okay. Open it up. It should say Dolce & Gabbana right there. Okay. Let's take out the paper. I always appreciate it, though, when they put paper inside of it, because then it won't get all... You know how things on Timu tend to get all smashed. And a uh, lady... So, you guys, my um, Stanley Cup dupe that I... Oh, if you're new to my channel, hi. Thanks for being new to my channel. My, If you missed it, I hauled the, um, a Stanley Cup dupe the other day, and a big chunk was broken out of the top. And I didn't catch it until somebody pointed it out in comments because I'm clueless like that. And so I got my money back and I bought the same one again. And let us hope it arrives in one piece. Okay, let me look at the tag in here. Oh, I was wrong because the tag in here says Versace. 
So wait a minute. What is the Dolce & Gabbana bag then? I don't know, but there's a full-on Versace faux leather tag in here. So now I'm going to have to Google Versace, but I swear this is Dolce & Gabbana. Well, I don't swear because I don't know what the hell. I'm, but I know it is because I wrote it down on a little pink piece of paper. I Googled it. I took a picture of it. I took the picture of it. I image searched it on Google and I found the big article about it. Unless I'm getting it confused with something else. Maybe. That could be a thing. Look at the strap. The strap is colorful. This is awesome. This is my favorite bag. Now, this bag is not going in the garage sale. Okay, this Versace, Dolce & Gabbana, whatever the heck it is, not going in the garage sale. All right, that was fun and exciting and confusing and embarrassing, but I really think this is Dolce & Gabbana, but either way, I don't care. I love Versace, too. I can't believe there's a Versace tag in here. <laughs> Get out of here, Timu sellers. Meanwhile, we're buying replicas from, you know, interesting companies overseas. And really, all you have to do is catch Timu on a good day. And who knows what you'll find before they yank it off the... Now, how do I close this thing? I think the snap goes right here. Well, I definitely know these snaps go right here. All right. Cool. Yeah. I want to just, I want to just spend some quality time with it, but I'm going to put it down. Okay. I, yeah, I'm guessing that I just got paid when I made this order. Seems like I just got paid with every order. Okay. This is another one of these. You guys, I love these candy rings. I don't know. It's something about the, my inner child. It just They look like bubble gum rings that you can get out of a bubble gum machine. But wow, that would look cool today with this shirt and these nails. It looks like this. It's a little acrylic uh, ring. Y2K geometric acrylic ring. And it was 89 cents. And they are not sold out. And there are different colors. I know because I bought this one and I bought the pink one. So that's exciting. Let's see if I can find what else I can find in here. Uh-oh, I feel something that... Oh, no! Another one! We about to have a cat party up in here where we just... This is the ice cream cat. You guys, I don't know. I just got so enamored with these little cats that I just wanted them. I wanted them all. I wanted them all. This one is the ice cream cat. Smoosh it out. Get it smooshed down. It's got an ice cream cone at the bottom. It is cute. It's got sprinkles for the feet. It's got sprinkles all over it. It's got a little whatever the heck this is, a scoop of ice cream up here. I don't know, with whipped cream and whatever that is and its little tail. And, okay, I just want to make sure my boss isn't trying to get a hold of me. And it's little sprinkly eyes and the ears have a little, here's a little piece of ice cream cone in the shape of a heart. Oh, that's cute. What did I pay for my ice cream cat? $10.17. Oh, my word. So I went and looked at that little kitten today who's missing an ear, and they named it part of its ear, and they named him Akbar. Akban? Akbar. I don't know, but um, he was a little sweetheart. He's too young to be adopted. But they think maybe sometime next week, and I've already told my mom, she doesn't have a say in it. I'm bringing him home. And I might rename him Sandor, though. Like Sandor Clegane on Game of Thrones. He doesn't, hopefully he doesn't, Akbot. That's his name. And um, hopefully from the fifth element is, I didn't name him that, but um, anyway, 
we got along great and the lady told me that she'd been fostering him with an older cat and another kitten and he's a little bit shy and he's not overly playful and he didn't harass the older cat so I'm excited maybe he won't harass mine right Clover yeah right Clover we don't want it I, I don't know I'm still worried because Clover needs so much attention that um She's staying out of frame today. She doesn't want to be on camera. She's camera shy. This is wrapped up in a napkin, you guys. Like a full-on restaurant napkin that you... What is this? Oh, it's a little black... It's a little black cat made out of obsidian stone. Now, in the picture... Well, first I thought it would be bigger. And it looks a little dusty, like I need to clean it up or something. But in the picture, it looked really shiny. And I know this was expensive because I've been looking at it and looking at it and looking at it. Oh, it was only $7.48 and it got refunded to $6.74 and it's a lightning deal right now. I don't know. I'll try to polish it or clean it or something, but... I mean, it's cute. It just, let me show you what the picture looks like so you'll understand why I'm befuddled. Why am I yelling? Let's stop yelling. For Pete's sake. This is what the pic, see how shiny and lovely it looks in the picture? And then here's what we got in real life. So, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. It's fine. Right? Look, Clover, it was a little kitty. All right, throw the napkin away. That's kind of just, I don't know, that kind of grosses me out for some reason. What if they wipe their nose on it first or something? Ooh. Let me grab another plastic bag and start putting trash in. I don't know. No, don't lick it, Clover. Clover wants to put it in her mouth. Here, put it up here. Clover, why do you want to eat that thing? Okay, what else? Oh, it's another bag. Please don't let it be another bag. I'll be embarrassed. Oh, it is another bag. You know what? I can't get that out right now. This. These are a pair of shoes. <laughs> I don't know why I said that like it's. Like you would, like you can't tell. Why did I think I needed a pair of, well, I do. I just, I don't have a pair of just plain white tennis shoes. And they've got a, they smell kind of good. Um, they've got a white mesh top and they got these funky bottoms. Woo, that's pretty cool. I might wear those tonight when I walk the dog. They've got a funky orange insole. It's a little bit, it's not very squishy at all. It's not memory foam. What did I pay for these shoes? $9.99 for this pair of shoes. All right, maybe I'll actually exercise now. I don't know. I hope they fit. I got them in a size 8. They say 38 on the bag. But I don't know why I got these when I just got so many great shoes from Fitville. If you missed that video, I'm going to try to throw these over with my other shoes. Okay, um, if you missed my Fitville shoes review, you guys, here's my conundrum. I agreed to collab, collab with so many companies. Here's what I still have left to do on reviews on. Another purse, a whole bunch of glasses, as in the kind you see out of some jewelry and I'm forgetting something purse jewelry glasses hair extensions that I don't even know how to put on so that's four so I'm trying to stagger these like tomorrow will be a, and they're all like emailing me going when are you gonna run our video when are you gonna run our video so tomorrow night 
will I have to go to a water distribution center and hand out water? But then when I get home, I'm gonna do going to do a jewelry review, and I hope that you'll watch, please. Um, just so the company won't think I'm a loser. Watch and comment. Okay, here's a ring that actually came in a ring box. Wow. Oh, I don't think this is a ring. I actually bought some moissanite earrings. They come with a grade, whatever, GRA card. The national, the the geological, I have no idea what GRA stands for, but they, where am I, where are my glasses? I need my glasses. Okay. I don't know, but I mean, they even have a warranty ID. Okay, let me see if these are all they're cut out to be. I'm gonna wear these tomorrow. I'm excited already. Well, they're not even in the box, like, <laughs> okay. They put them in, in the box. They have each one in its own separate little, I'm worried that I'm gonna lose it. Cause these were expensive, you guys. These are not playing. These were 20 something dollars. Oh wait, they weren't, they're not in this order. Oh, stop it. Oh no, they're not in this order. Really I have to find them now? I think, well, anyway, they were about 20 some dollars. Oh, there they are right there. Okay. Moissanite 16. Okay, these are 0.5 carat. Wait, are they, yeah, these are 0.5 carat and they were $16.19. And woo, they're really sparkly. Look at that. I'm impressed. And moissanite, I'm pronouncing it correctly. Yes, if I'm not, tell me, I count on you to tell me in the comments below if I'm not pronouncing something correctly. Okay, well, cool. Please don't let that be. Let me see who's, let me, I'm sorry, I gotta check to see. I gotta check my watch because I do have to watch for anything from my boss. Although if I got something about her right now, I don't, from her right now, I don't know if I would stop this abruptly or, and nope, okay. All right, cool. I'm still wearing those tomorrow, but they're not the one. I got a carrot for $30. I must have, um, now don't get stressed about the money that I spend. I, this channel made, thank you so much. This channel made decent money. I just got paid for this channel on the 21st and I kind of put, about half of that or so back into the channel. It's kind of a cycle. Like I gotta spend money to make this channel, but then I get paid for the channel, but then I gotta spend some of that money to keep the channel going. But I'm about to run out of space in my life and in my head. So I don't know what, I, I cannot do these two. So here's the other pair. So here's another GRA card with a bunch of exciting stuff that I need to know about my jewels and my warranty card for these. So here, what is GRA? The Geological Research Academy, which is an independent jewel institute. We specialize in identifying gemstones and jewels. Okay, well, Nice. All right, here's another pair of these earrings. These should be the four prong studs for $29.97. No, this is, oh, I bought a ring too. Oh dear. Oh dear. 
I don't know where this one is. Well, let's just say it was $30, 20 to $30. And I'm sure it'll come up eventually. I'm looking. Here it is. It was, I was wrong. It was $13.94 for a one carat moissanite ring. 925 silver, sterling silver. Please fit on my finger because I also told this jewelry company that my engaged finger wears a six. It does. I'm engaged. Leave me alone. All right. Yay. It's very sparkly and very cool. Pretty. Wow, it's pretty. It's really pretty. I can't stop looking at my hand. All right. It comes in a little box. That's nice that they put these in little boxes. That's classy of them. Now I'm going to have little jewelry boxes everywhere. I should just go ahead and throw them. Well, no, I need to keep these. These are nice. I can't put these in the, the jewelry case where jewelry goes to die. But I got to hurry up, man. It's, it's already been 26 minutes. Here's another I'm ready for Halloween shirt. Right, Clover? She doesn't want it. She just want to be on camera today. She, she just wants to chill. All right, this t-shirt is kind of like a burnt orange or something. And it's got, it feels soft. It looks small to me. It's got a pumpkin on it. That's about all there is to it. And yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a little shiny. Let me see what the tag says. It's going to say 100% polyester. It's going to say 75 here. I can't read that. Um, it is 60% polyester, 35% rayon, and 5% spandex. So, yeah, I mean, it's a little shiny, but it's all right. It's all right. Cool. How much did I pay for that? I love the t-shirts on Timu when they're not uh, scuba diving suit type t-shirts. I paid... Seven bucks, seven dollars and fifty nine cents for this. I figured I could wear it on casual day with some jeans and my new white tennis shoe. <laughs> I don't know. All right, get ready to put that in the drawer. I'm getting much better at putting things away immediately after I get done with these videos. Da 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 da. da. Wait a minute. Look at how small this crown is. Now look, you guys know I'm always looking for the perfect crown because you should see me in a crown. But anyway, this is ridiculously small. This is for a baby. I'm going to end up putting these on like putting this on a doll or something. It. Hey, y'all, anybody want to go do something royal? Oh, um, I think it's for a baby. And as usual, I didn't read the complete description here. It says bridal, queen, princess, beaded crown, wedding, birthday decoration, pretty hair accessory. The picture looks like this. Look at my thumbprints all over my greasy phone. Sorry about that. Um, did I look at the dimensions? No. It says, <laughs> if I would have looked at the dimensions, I would have seen that the radius of this is 3.15 inches. And please tell me, please tell me I did not pay a lot for this. I didn't. I paid $3.58. It'll fit on the little clover. Can I put this on your head? Oh, 
Oh, you look perfect. Okay, she let me keep it on for a minute. I wish I could have shown you on the camera. It looks good on Clover. If I could only train her to wear it, that would be fabulous. Okay, next is another shirt. And it is plus size, plus size casual sweater, 1XL size 14 and it feels like something you would scrub the inside of your shower with and it is just I wanted to wear it with leggings and it ugh. and it is just a typical long beige shirt that I think I have it backwards because it's got a seam going down the front. I don't know, you guys. It is what it is. It's just, I don't know why I got it this big. Oh, because I wanted to wear it with leggings, so I wanted it to be long. But it feels like something that you would find in a thrift store that had been there for years and years and years. Or, you know, like if you go in your grandmother's closet and you feel some of her old polyester clothes or something. Both of my grandmothers are, are, they're not living, but back in the old days when I would go in their closets and look at their clothes and some of them would be so old. And I, I'm looking at the tag just out of curiosity to see if it says 100% polyester. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I want to keep smelling them. What did I pay for that thing? $13.94. It looks so cute on the model, though. That's no fair. All right, put it with the clothes right there. All right, I'm already getting tired. There's a whole other bag back here, you guys. Do you want to do you want to pause this and go get a snack? Oh, oops. I got another cat, but they also put stickers in there with it that I did not order, but I bought the macaron, macaron, macaroon. Cat, and they put a bunch of these little, first of all, what are these? I mean, I know they're stickers, but what is the theme of these? See, now if these would have just come a little bit earlier, there's somebody I don't know. They're a little cartoon character that I am not familiar with. A little, I want to say probably Chinese, Japanese, anime Korean, I don't know, little, there's a lot of them. I'm trying to, I don't know, but that was nice of them to put stickers in here. I just don't know what I'm going to, oops, see, I knew that was going to happen if I tried to, this one is cute. All right, anyway, whatever, I don't, I don't know. I should have, if only I could have given those to my youngest niece because she really loved you guys, those sticker albums that I got her off Teemu, they're these, those sticker albums that have blank little like mermaids or faces and stuff. And you can custom put, take the stickers and customize their, pick the eyes and the nose and the mouth. And she really loved those sticker books a lot. She was playing with them over the weekend. And then this is the cat that goes with it. And it's got yum. I'm starving. Look at the big winky eye. And it's got little pink paws and little specks, little sprinkles on it. And a couple of layers. This is the frosting. Macaron? Macaron? Macaron. Macaroon. I don't know. Okay, cute little hat. I don't know how to communicate, you guys. Communications was never my specialty. 
say, stick these in here. Stick this in here. I gotta get organized for a minute with my trash. What time is it, Alexa? Alexa? What time is it? The time is 6.43 p.m. Okay. It feels like 11.35 p.m. Alexa, tell me a joke. What do you get if you cross Spider-Man with a dog? No, 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 no. Peter Barker. <laughs> I forgot that I turned on some kind of Spider-Man setting on my... Uh, and I don't remember how to turn it off now so everything he does is Spider-Man related and it's really starting to annoy me but I love Alexa he's my boyfriend Alexa you're my boyfriend I like you as a friend oh I got friend zoned by Alexa Alexa stop Okay, I got another one of these rings in pink and purple. Wow, he likes me as a friend. Of course. That's the story of my life. I can't believe I just got friend zoned by Alexa. Why you wanna break Alexa, why you wanna break my heart? To listen to specific songs anytime you like. No. Just say try Amazon Music Unlimited. Alexa Alexa, stop. Oh, was going to play that song from the 80s. Why you want to break my heart? Okay, and that was really off key. Here's another little ring. It is black and green. It looked really pretty in the picture. If I saw it in a store, would I buy it? I don't know. Let's see. If I saw these in a store, would I buy them? Yes, I would. If I saw all these stuffed cats in a store, would I buy them? Hell no. Okay, here is the ring. It is really pretty. It is black and green. And I bought it in a size 7, but my fingers are um, a little bit... This is small. Okay, ooh, don't panic. All right, let me try the I'm engaged, leave me alone finger. Oh, it's got, oh, cute. It's got a little bow, you guys. I don't know if you can see it or not. Here, let me turn it around. I don't know if you can see it, but look, it's got a little bow detail there. That is adorable. I just noticed that. Okay, this one is pretty, you know, kind of goth looking. I love this one, actually. I love the green. That's really pretty. Let me see if it'll fit on my other, um, I don't know, ring finger or whatever. Yeah, well, no, it's too, it's really loose for this. But hopefully it'll fit on something. Or maybe I'll just have to lose 10 more pounds. Okay, there, it fits on my middle finger. So especially if I get ticked off at someone, it'll at least look attractive. All right. Neat. All right, let me put my expensive ring back on. Let's put all these rings here on this little table. Put this ring on. Take this ring off. Oh, what did I pay for the the cat? I paid eleven sixty nine. The green ring I paid three dollars and twenty six cents, and now it is. I got a price adjustment on it, but now it's three twenty eight. So, oops. Who's trying to reach me? Please don't let it be. Ooh. No, well, that's not my boss, but it's somebody. Not somebody, like not a, it's just somebody work related asking a question. And I don't have any answers for anybody at work. Okay, now can I get... There's just huge things in here. Ooh. It says fashion on it. It must be a bag.
it must be a very big bag that is quilted and I don't like the color of it. I liked the color in the picture, but I don't like the color of it here. Wow, which is a shame because the inside is really impressive. It's got a lot of compartments inside. It's got a zippered pouch down the middle. It's got slip pockets. It's got a zippered pouch down the middle. It's got two halves. It's got a zippered pocket. This is zippered. Then this is in half and it's and it's attached to the bottom. So you get two places plus zipper plus whatever you want to put in the middle. And then this is a pocket and there's nothing on the back. It has feet and an extra foot. And maybe it'll grow on me. And it's got a chain. I can't figure this out to save my life. Oh, okay. You, I'm assuming you pull it up and you just carry it like this. I guess. It's got chains with leather wrapped around it. Which is, which I love. I don't know, you guys. The color, though. Color reminds me of sewage treatment plants. But it's nice. It's huge. It's roomy. It's smooth. It's buttery. It's got everything I love in a bag. It's just that color is not jiving with me. Maybe tomorrow I'll like the color. You never know how you're going to feel about stuff the next day when it's a fresh new day. What did I pay for this thing? It's not in this order? Of course it's not. Try to find it in the other one that we just looked at. There it is. Oh my gosh, there are so many bags in this thing. Argyle Quilted Shoulder Bag 1749. I'm going to show you guys the picture just so you'll understand where the... Like the picture, look how nice it looks in the picture. It looks like a different color of brown. Not this color of brown. Unless, I, unless it comes in different colors and I ask, no, it just comes in black, taupe, or bay, brown, oh, no, black, red, and brown. And the brown is sold out. I wonder how many other people got this brown and went, ugh. I don't know. I, you know what? I'm going to like it. I'm going to learn to like it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be like an arranged marriage where you're not quite sure, but you got to learn to like each other because you know you're in an arranged marriage. That is what I'm going to have to do with that bag because I like everything else about it. There are more bags in here because I have a bad problem and I need some serious help. This one is nice. Though, whoa, it's beautiful. This might have been one that I saw on Amber That Girl's channel and I ran over and said, no, or it might have been one I just found by myself. And I don't know what, it was nice of them to cover up the hardware like it's all fancy and stuff. Cover up the hardware, uncover the hardware. Pretend it cost a bill. it looks like it cost a million bucks. And how do you open it? You unsnap it. And there's a strap inside and a lot of paper. And a lot more. Ooh. A lot more paper. And then the inside is just the inside with slip pockets and a zippered pocket the usual stuff. There's also a zippered pocket on the back. I think it's really beautiful. It snaps closed magnetically by itself. It doesn't have any feet, which is kind of a bummer. And this is a little bit wonky. It just got a little bit wonky during shipping. And what did I pay for this? Oh, it's not in this order. Of course. Oh, yeah. No. Oh my gosh. There are so many 
bags. I told you there were bags and bags on the horizon the other day. I just got drunk with bag buying. This was $22 and I love it. I think it's gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. Smile for some kind of a thumbnail or just look cheese. I'm in a baseball cap and I haven't showered in five days. I took a wet wipe shower this morning. I mean a wet wipe sponge bath and I have about four days of dry shampoo sprayed in my hair. Right Clover? Yeah I know. You got the sneezes? Hi Clover! What's going on? Okay, well, now it's not a good time to climb in my lap. All right, put this on this. We're getting a mountain. She gonna want to climb on my lap now? Okay, let's keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. I don't know what this is. Oh. She's getting in the Timu bag. Hey! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> and then the last thing in this bag is a little cat. What are you doing in there? Are you playing? Don't eat the plastic. No, no. All right, and then we got a and then we got a cat in there. Oh shoot, that is funny. You know, for a little old lady, I didn't think she was still into doing stuff like that anymore. No, now don't chew on that. All right, well, maybe she needs a little bed like this. Maybe I need to look for a little cocoon bed where she can just climb. <laughs> I can't. Oh, are you silly? All right, I don't know what this is. And I don't think I ordered this. Like, I... I really don't. No, I don't think I. I don't think I ordered it. It says, "I swear I did not order this bag," or if I did, was I taking Ambien? It's a tote bag, and it says "Moro Moro Moro Moro," and it's got a bunch of graffiti on the bottom. Oh, it's not, okay, there are two handles, and you unsnap it, and it's got a little thing, a smaller pouch attached to it, and don't eat that plastic. Don't eat the plastic. Okay, don't eat plastic. What does the tag inside say? It says Jane and York, independent designer brand, and I swear I did not... <laughs> I don't remember ordering this at all. Like, complete amnesia. I don't even know where to look for this. I, I'm i speechless with confusion. Because I don't... It doesn't look like something... I mean, I know I have other bags like this. But it doesn't... Let me look. Don't do that. Let me look very, very carefully. No, it's not in that. I didn't, oh, there it is. Shoot, I did order it. For $17.99. All right, here's what it, here, let me show you the picture. This is the picture. And this is the bag. I'm about to have a bag sale. It's $19.99 now. It's kind of like with Timu, man. Get things before the prices go up. All right, well. Um, all right, I mean, it's cool. I like it. 
Yeah, sure. It's just the straps are so small, though. Like, if I, if I really did put this around my arm, it would be, like, way up under my armpit, though. But if I, I know, but if I walk, if I walked with it hanging down, it's so big and heavy. Like, it needs longer straps. 50 minutes. We still have one more bag to go. Okay, well, I hope there's nothing else in here besides a cat. Do you think there's anything else in here? Can I just feel around in here for a minute? Don't bite. All right. Okay, you just stay right there. All right, what in the world is this thing? Look at this gigantic square thing. I don't even know. Oh, yes, I do know. You guys, I thought that perhaps the bedside table. Oh, no. When did that thing go out? My power bank is fully charged. Oh, well, I'm sorry about the UFO, you guys. Notice that I didn't even notice that. Notice that I didn't even notice that. Um, there was a time when I didn't think I'd be able to put this bedside table together and I, or lamp or whatever it is with, with shelves. And I, I didn't, my brother did, right? Yeah. And, but so I bought one of those tables that you just pull up to your, one of those tables that you put together and you just slide up to your couch or chair. And I figured I'll just this thing will be easy enough for me to put together and I'll just slide it up next to my bed because that's how lazy I can get. So now I have a table that I don't know what I'm going to do with and I don't know about getting it out. Here. Get the big scary scissors. Are you going to get out of there ever? I don't know if there's anything else because Clover's in the bag. Clover what? Okay. Clover, don't eat pla- Yuck, you're going to get sick. No, now don't do that. No, no, no. Clover, we got Clover on Timu for $4.99 with the price adjustment. All right, I don't know if it's already put together or not. I have a bad feeling I got to put it together. I don't even know how to get it open, you guys. This is stressing me out. Oh, hell yeah, you got to put it together. Never mind. Oh, and it stinks. I thought you just unfolded it. Here, let me find a picture of it. As usual, I could edit this picture in, like, right here. But instead, I'd prefer to just show you on my greasy phone that it looks like this. And now, um, sure, I'll just put it right there. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but what did it cost? It cost... <gasps> It cost twenty seven ninety eight. Oh, what do you think about that? All right, I think we're done. If there's anything else in here, I'll save it because you guys, I have three more bags over there, but I'm going to save them for, uh, what is this, Monday? Tomorrow I'm going to do a jewelry review and then I'll do these three bags Wednesday and then Thursday I'll do a purse review. And then Friday, I will do hair extensions or hopefully another Timu, or Timu unbagging. I don't know. I'm trying to plan my content carefully. <laughs> and, and then we got this. Okay. All right. Anyway, if you, if you watched 
thank you for watching. And um, if, if you hit the like button, thank you for hitting like. And if you are a new subscriber and you're still here at 54 minutes and 57 seconds, thank you so much. And I love and appreciate all of you guys and have a nice morning, day, or evening, whatever it is for you. For me, it's the evening, and I'm about to answer a whole bunch of emails, so I gotta go. I gotta go. I got work I gotta do. Okay, can you say goodbye, Clover? Okay, she said goodbye. All right, I'm gonna pick up this bag with the little cat in it. We're gonna go our happy way. All right, well, I'm sorry that that thing, at least it didn't fall down but I'm sorry that that went out. That's that's unfortunate. I'll have to I'll have to charge my power bank again, or no, or get another one. Okay, all right. Bye, everybody. All right. What do we say now, Clover? Wow, this this moissanite ring is sparkly. You guys, everywhere I look, I just see it like sparkling and glistening. Now I get what the hype is about these things. But this isn't even close to the one that I'm going to show you tomorrow night. So please, please check out my video tomorrow night. And leave a comment, even if you say cool jewelry, bruh, or whatever. That would be great. And I swear I think there's probably some more stuff in this bag. But there's a cat sitting on it, so whatever. All right, goodbye, everybody. How do we stop the cat hair everywhere? How do we stop this thing? How do we stop this thing? Bye-bye.